some interesting stuff right there. But here's what he had to say, Jim Irsay, about his team missing the playoffs after losing to the Jaguars Week 18. And Carson Wentz sort of catches some shrapnel here. No disrespect to Jacksonville, but I mean, they're the worst team in the league. They're looking to go to their locker room and clean it out. I've never seen anything like that loss in my life. You say, my God, there's something wrong here. It needs to be connected. I think we feel like we did. Wow. Mike T, uh, uncommon comments from a NFL owner. What do you make of these comments from Jim Merce about Carson Wentz? Completely unacceptable, completely wow. unnecessary. When an, someone leaves your organization, you thank them. You thank them for their services, and you move on. Behind closed door, you, you have very difficult conversation. Head coach, GM, ownership. But once you make a decision, you walk out shoulder to shoulder, and when a player leaves, you just say thank you. And I'll tell you what, the players in that locker room, and Dan and Swagoo, you know this, they are listening, and it is something that the players are going to notice, and it's something they're going to say, well, wait a second, if they're saying that about Carson Wentz, what are they saying about me? Mm. And it, all it does is it eviscerates organizational morale, and it's something that anybody in a position of leadership, but especially ownership, should never say that about a former player. And it was even more telling to me, I don't know if it was around the combine or maybe before that, when Frank Reich wasn't um, enthused about the questions about Carson Wentz. And obviously Ballard was frustrated and uh, acknowledged that it didn't go the way they expected it to. Those things, those two things can be true. But I'm in line with Mike T. Let the man ride out. It didn't work out. It didn't happen like you thought it would. You missed the playoffs, not just because of Carson Wentz. And you were frustrated about that. But ultimately, it's, a, it's in poor taste. It's a bad look, man. Yeah, you know when we hear, hear everyone kind of make the comment that this person has it, it mm. seems like Ursay was referencing that Carson Wentz didn't have it. And the point of the quote that got me the most was when he made mention that we're playing against Jacksonville – and if you get up on them early, they just want to get to their locker room. And I think that lends to the lack of leadership that he wanted out of Carson Wentz. Because the reality is, if you have that it factor at quarterback, you start that game. They didn't play well, but your team goes up 14-0 just because you will them to, and that game is over. Yeah. Now, I, will, I want to make yeah. this point because Mr. Ursay said, I, I believe this team can win a championship. Yeah. I think two things need to happen if they even become remotely close to doing that. Number one, you better find a left tackle, you better find a starting wide receiver, and you better find a starting tight end. Mm. I don't think you have those pieces on your roster just yet. Okay. Michael Pittman is maybe ascending to that field. Okay. I think he's a really good number two right now. I just don't think he's a bona fide one. I think that their tight end position, Mo Ali Cox, needs to become better. And they gotta find a left tackle. It's not gonna be Matt Pryor. The second thing, and I think this is the, just as important as the personnel, I think Frank Reich is going to have to adjust. Mm. I really do. Because this yeah. offense, a big yeah. part of it was the RPO, the run-pass option. They did a lot of it last year. Matt Ryan's never done that. Yeah. Matt Ryan has thrived in two aspects offensively in the NFL. Okay. Get to the line of scrimmage and let Matt call it. He did that a little bit earlier in his career. Frank does that a little bit. He's smart enough. Or the play-action game. Every quarterback does well in it. So I think it's going to be Frank adjusting to less RPO, okay. more empowering the quarterback, Matt Ryan, at the line of scrimmage to call the game. If that happens and they upgrade those personnel pieces, we can have a conversation about winning the division. Dio, how different is this than with um, Phillip Rivers? Uh, it's going to be very similar to Phillip Rivers. Very similar. Very similar. Okay. Okay. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.